Welcome! In today's video I will show you how to create an RGB shift effect in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is separate the RGB channels. The easiest way to do that is by using the course adjustment layer. Let's start by copying our initial image. Let's add a curves adjustment layer. We want this layer to be the red channel, which means we need to remove the green and remove the blue. And then let's remove this to the layer. And basically now we have our red channel. I'm going to copy this two times, one for the blue and one for the green. We need to adjust the curves, of course, to make this the blue. We're gonna remove the red and add the blue to this one. And then we get our blue channel. We do the same for the green. Remove the red, add the green. Now we have all three layers we need for the RGB shift effect. But before we continue, we need to make sure that we combine all these three layers back to the original image. We can achieve this by using a stack group. Select the three layers we just created, go to arrange and then select live stack group. In order to mix those three channels, we need to make sure that the live stack group property is set to total. Now, because all the channels are mixed together, we get exactly the same image as before. It is time to create the RGB shift effect by moving the individual layers we just created. So to have a green shift, move the green layer move the blue layer and move the red layer. A nice feature of this method is that you can play around with the effect by adjusting the individual curves adjustments layers of the channels. By adjusting the curves we can create interesting effects where we can highlight the blue or give a little bit more shadow to the red. It's up to you how you want to style your image. And then you have this nice effect created very easily in Affinity Photo. I hope you liked this video and until next time, thanks for watching.